Uh, here's another little cool experiment I wanted to show. I thought it was pretty interesting. Um, basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show a bulb being lit from a 12 volt adapter, straight from the adapter, and then show the same bulb lit with the uh, adapter powering this jolty circuit and lighting the bulb from the flyback winding. And as I showed before, it's much brighter on the on the flyback output than it is straight to the adapter. It's just a regular cheap old 12 volt auto bulb. And I'm gonna hook it up. I'm gonna do everything with one hand because I suck like that. So it's hooked up. It's not gonna come on until I plug it in. But I've been mistakenly calling this a 12 volt uh, 1 amp adapter. It's really a 12 volt 750 milliamp adapter. But it can probably kick out close to uh, one and a half amps at 12 volts. So I'm going to plug it in. Alright, so it's plugged in. That's as bright as it gets. So. Let's take some measurements of that real quick. So, I'm going to plug it in to my little meter here. It's on the 10 amp scale. So, let's see if I can make contact here. Let's see if I can make good contact. I'm going to pick it up real quick. Alright. So, this meter is telling me that this bulb is consuming 220 milliamps. Okay. Now I'm also going to take a voltage reading. Grab this little meter. So this bulb is consuming 220 milliamps. See what the voltage is. At twelve, roughly twelve volts. About eleven point nine two, about eleven point nine four volts. So 11.94 volts at 220 milliamps is what you see here. Okay. So that is. So I'm going to put this bulb right there. Take the meter off. Get all this crap out the way. And now. Let's take the same bulb, <sighs> dropping ash everywhere. Take the same bulb and hook it up to the circuit. So now this bulb is going to run off the uh, the pulse the uh, pulse DC from the flyback winding of the jewel thief. And I say pulse DC because this hot line has rectifiers on it. So this is not even AC hitting this bulb. And let's cut that one on. Now, I don't know if you have a good memory, you'd be able to remember that the bulb was not as bright before, directly from the same adapter. Okay. Now, you might have to rewind to get a reference, but this is clearly brighter. So, what we should do is we should also take a reading of that. So, first, first let's get a voltage reading. Let's see what it's being lit at. And it says 12.16 volts, roughly. 12.17. So this bulb is being lit like that about at, at about 12.17 volts. So now let's take the other meter that we used before 
and get the current reading. Unplug that first. Sloppy, but I don't care. Okay, plug it back in. We're getting 170 milliamps. Okay. Now I don't even honestly remember what the what it was straight from the adapter, but I know it was over 200. Okay, so we have basically the same voltage across the bulb when it's straight from the adapter as as it is uh, the post DC. Except the post DC is much brighter, visibly much brighter, and according to the meter, consumes less current. So it's pretty interesting, to say the least, in my opinion. So once again, get a good reference of that. Gonna unplug it. Gonna put the bulb straight to the adapter again. So here's the adapter leads. Oh, clearly not as bright. Hopefully you can see that. So I thought that was cool. I don't know how to explain that. According to two basic measurements, I've got a voltage and current coming straight from the adapter that gives me a certain brightness that exceeds the voltage and current readings across the output of this circuit and where it's much brighter so I don't know explain that I, doesn't make a whole lot of sense but it's probably just all about pulses pulse trains and certain loads like this particular bulb I thought that was pretty cool